So this one was popularly requested by viewers, the Helio G95 wielding Techno Camo 17 Pro versus the Snapdragon 732G wielding Redmi Note 10 Pro. What are your predictions? Which is the faster device? Which is the best value for money? Choose your fighter. What up guys, Izzy here and welcome to another comparison, the Techno Camo 17 Pro versus the Redmi Note 10 Pro. They are both actually priced the same but each has individual advantages and I'll say some similarities too, but which exactly will be the device that best suits your use case. First off, let's start with the accessories as that is one area that might not seem so important but it actually is. The Technocamo 17 Pro has earphones in the box, the Redmi Note 10 Pro does not. They both have the charger in the box and support fast charging, but the Redmi Note 10 Pro comes with a higher 33W fast charger while the Camo 17 Pro has a 25W charger. While they both have similar 5000mAh battery capacity, from actual tests this translates to the Redmi Note 10 Pro charging significantly faster, precisely 0 to 100 in 57 minutes while the Camo 17 Pro took an hour and 45 minutes to charge from 0 to 100. On size, the Techno Camo 17 Pro is the taller device at 6.8 inches in comparison with the Note 10 Pro which is at 6.67 inches. They both have different build quality with the Redmi Note 10 Pro built with the more premium Gorilla Glass 5 on its display and the rear which also has a frosted finish on the glacier blue color. The Techno Camo 17 Pro is having an unspecified level of Gorilla Glass on its display with plastic on its rear. Also a nicely feeling matte finish which does well to hide smudges just like the Note 10 Pro. While we can easily say the Redmi Note 10 Pro has the more premium build, we can't say the same for durability as premium does not translate to durability. It can also mean fragile. That is to say the Techno Camo 17 Pro is the more likely device to survive a drop without damage because of its plastic wear. So you want to be more careful while using the Redmi Note 10 Pro without a case. Both devices will survive accidental drops in water but the Redmi Note 10 Pro is the only one with an actual IP53 certification. They both have side mounted fingerprint scanners and they work just fine and pretty fast. They also both have the headphone jack but the Redmi Note 10 Pro has it positioned at the top while the Camo 17 Pro has it positioned normally at the bottom. Both have stereo speakers which are quite loud and produce really good sound. There is an added feature common to Redmi phones and that is the IR blaster which is quite handy for controlling your electronic devices when you do not have your remote nearby. On the display side of things, they are both full HD displays but the Redmi Note 10 Pro pretty much takes the cake in this department. It has an AMOLED display which most may prefer to the LCD display on the Camo 17 Pro. It is also brighter, more vibrant and looks the more attractive and it has HDR10 support. The Techno Camo 17 Pro on the other hand has a good looking LCD display which is also taller than that on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and some may choose it for its size, but I'm pretty sure most will choose an AMOLED display. The Camo 17 Pro has a front facing flash on its display to help with nighttime selfies. The Redmi Note 10 Pro relies on the bright white light from its display. They both have the selfie camera placed in a center hole punch but the Redmi Note 10 Pro has a smaller cutout. Another display advantage the Note 10 Pro has is 120Hz refresh rate. The Techno Camo 17 Pro has a high refresh rate display but at 90Hz. Both will give improved scrolling experience through their respective UIs. Speaking of UI, before we go into that, I'd like to thank you guys for 20,000 subscribers. Could not have achieved this without your support. I've had the privilege of going through MKBHD's class on YouTube success which has really helped my process so far. That brings us to our sponsor Skillshare. This class is available on Skillshare and as a YouTuber who wants to grow, you really want to get the best information to help you streamline your process and grow your audience. Skillshare is available on web and mobile, grants you easy access to different amazing classes to help you develop whatever skill you need. Aside the YouTube success class I referenced earlier, there is a ton of other classes to learn from including photography, freelancing, digital marketing and a lot more. And Skillshare is always adding new premium classes. It is a platform that is fit for any level of learning, whether beginner or pro, and you get an ad-free experience with no distractions. It is also affordable at $10 per month with a yearly subscription, but Skillshare is giving a free trial of premium membership to the first 1000 of my subscribers to use a link in the description. Pretty much gives you unrestricted access for free. Now back to business, the software. 
Both phones run on Android 11 and their respective custom skins. That is MIUI 12.5 and iOS 7.6 respectively. One thing common to both iOS and MIUI is the bloatware and ads, like plenty of bloatware. But you may find the ads on the Camo 17 Pro to be the more aggressive. If you tinkering here and there and you can disable or uninstall most of the bloatwares and block some of the ads from both devices. You may also find MIUI to be the more visually appealing interface, but both are quite feature-packed. The Techno Camo 17 Pro has the edge when it comes to RAM and memory. It packs 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage, more than the 6GB RAM and 128GB storage you get on the Redmi Note 10 Pro at the same price. There is an 8GB version of the Redmi Note 10 Pro but that costs a little more and it is also just 128GB storage. They both have processors that are comparable in performance and you can tell from their benchmark scores, though one is more gaming optimized and that is the Camo 17 Pro. The Note 10 Pro has the Adreno 6184 its GPU while the Camo 17 Pro has the Mali G76. Both the Camo 17 Pro and the Redmi Note 10 Pro do quite well when it comes to gaming and from experience, both of them will get hot while gaming. The Camo 17 Pro however handles it a lot better. It is able to handle the game like Genshin Impact at medium settings which is its default and it's also able to play it comfortably at medium settings. On the Redmi Note 10 Pro, the default setting is low. With other titles like Call of Duty and PUBG Mobile, they have the same graphics capability and they play quite well. In my experience using these two devices, they've been mostly flawless, that is if you put aside the ads and bloatware experience. However, on the Redmi Note 10 Pro, I've had issues using the hotspot for quite a while. Software updates have not fixed this and I'm also not the only one with this problem. I'm yet to find a fix. Like I said earlier, their processors are comparable in performance and if I were to go with an app launch speed test, there's pretty much little to nothing to separate them. They launch apps equally fast. On cameras, they both have quad rear camera setup and a single selfie camera. The Camo 17 Pro has the higher 48 megapixel selfie camera against the 64 megapixel selfie camera on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. On the rear, we have the higher 108 megapixels on the main camera of the Redmi Note 10 Pro, accompanied by an 8 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel macro, and 2 megapixel depth sensor. The Camo 17 Pro has a 64 megapixel main camera and 8 megapixel ultra wide. 2 megapixel depth and 2 megapixel monochrome camera. How do these numbers compare when it comes to actual reward performance? Well, see for yourself and judge which of these do you prefer or which takes the better photos in your opinion. On video boot phones can shoot 4K 30fps from their rear cameras with no stabilization. You can get electronic stabilization at 1080p. On the selfie camera, only the Camo 17 Pro can shoot 4K. The Redmi Note 10 Pro can only do 1080p. Hey, hello guys. So you are looking at video sample from the selfie cameras of the Techno Camo 17 Pro and the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Right on here you can see the Camo 17 Pro has a wider field of view than that on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. And also the Camo 17 Pro is shooting at 4K 30fps while the Redmi Note 10 Pro can only do 1080p 30fps from its selfie cameras. They can both do 4K 30 from their rear cameras though. Um, the Camo 17 Pro is also tagged clearest selfie camera with its 48 megapixel selfie camera while the Redmi Note 10 Pro has a 16 megapixel selfie camera. So you tell me what do you think about the picture quality. Does the clearest selfie camera look better than the 16 megapixel camera on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and also their microphone quality. You let me know in the comment section. So, from the comparisons so far, which would you choose between the Redmi Note 10 Pro and the Techno Camo 17 Pro? You will get slightly better gaming performance on the Camo 17 Pro and also more RAM and memory at the same price. I would also say more drop resistant. But with the Redmi Note 10 Pro, you get better display, higher refresh rates, more premium build with Gorilla Glass 5 on the display and the rear, and an IP53 rating. I'll leave their cameras to your preference. I believe each and every one of us would have which one we prefer. So I'll be looking forward to your comments in the comment section to hear your opinions. So, which device do you pick? If you found this video helpful, do hit that like button and consider subscribing. Peace out.